Hi everyone, today we're going to be going over how to use Gale in context science. So if I asked you who won the 1989 World Series, what would you do? Most likely you'd ask Siri or you'd Google it. It was the A's, by the way. But what if I asked you what caused the Loma Prieta earthquake of 1989, which happened before game three of the World Series in the Bay Area? What would you do? Many of us might be tempted to Google again for our research, but how do you know that the information that you're looking up online is accurate? While using Google for our everyday information needs, like the answer to which team won the 1989 World Series, is perfectly acceptable, using Google for formal research isn't recommended because we can't count on the internet being dependable 100% of the time. So today, I want to teach you how to access and use databases. Schools and universities provide databases, which is an online collection of articles and other media that is created by professionals and carefully fact-checked for authenticity so that students can accurately learn and cite information. One of the most significant differences between Google and databases are their creators. Anybody can create a website, but only professionals can create material for databases. To access the databases that we subscribe to as a district, you'll need to go to the Diablo Vista homepage, click Academics, go to our DV Library page, go to the right side where it says Library Resources, and click on Databases. Here's our homepage, click Academics, click DV Library, go to the right side where it says Library Resources, and click on databases. This is our landing page. Today we're going to be focusing on Gale in Context Science. So the credentials are right here. Our password is DVMS Eagles and you just click the icon to access the database. A good starting point will be browse topics here at the top. Here you'll see hundreds of topics that you can browse. For our example today I'm going to use the topic moon. You'll see that there's an overview, but you can also click on all of this content for various media about the moon. You can continue learning about the topic, or on the right side, you can help narrow down your search by looking at more specific articles about the moon. You might already know a topic that you wanna search, so let's say I wanted to learn about the moon landing. I could search moon landing, And same thing, you'll see different types of articles at the top. You can even filter your results on the side. So I'm gonna pick this article. Here are some features that you can use within the article. You can save it to your drive. You can send it using these other features. You can listen to it, adjust the font size. You can even translate it. One of my favorite things about using Gale is the ability to annotate. So you can highlight and you can add a note. So I'll call this note one, for example, and I may continue, and I can even color code my notes, and I'll call this note two. Let's say I continue annotating and reading. At the bottom, you will find an annotation. You'll also find more like this to help with your research. And when you're done for the day, you can go ahead and click highlights and notes. Click view all highlights and notes. And here's your work that you did for the day. Go ahead and send that to your Google Drive. You'll get a message that says complete documents have been sent to Google Drive and will appear shortly. To access them in your Google Drive, you want to go ahead and click on the Recents tab. Here I am in my Recents folder. You'll see the highlighted article. And here are my notes and, again, the citation that you can use. This is a really important step because it won't save after you log out of Gale for the day. So you'll want to make sure that you send your annotations and your notes to your drive by the end of the day. Now, using databases will ultimately be more meticulous, which means showing great attention to detail, very careful and precise, than using Google. But when you consider your purpose, you'll decide which type of research best fits your needs. 
And something else to keep in mind now and in the future is that most teachers and eventually professors will require database research and Google may not be an acceptable form of research. So getting into the habit now will really set you up for the future. Thanks for watching.